Hey, what's up guys, Mikey here. I was talking to a friend of mine and she told me that she got sick, so I said I hope she'd get better soon. A few days later, I tried calling her and she never picked up, so I assumed the worst had happened and I was being haunted by her ghost. But it turns out that I was only dreaming and when I messaged her the next day, she said she felt a lot better, so I had myself fooled. Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost is the episode where Squidward tricks Spongebob and Patrick into thinking that he died and was now a ghost. Like Muscle Bob Buff Pants, this episode aired on October 2nd, 1999 and is that episode where Patrick drops a watermelon on Squidward. This episode is also the first time the Flying Dutchman was seen in any way, shape, or form. In this case, he's shown in pictures from a comic book which explains why he haunts the Seven Seas. While he was shown in these pictures, he wouldn't appear physically until three episodes later in episode 26, Scaredy Pants. Somebody out there could count this as an appearance, but I prefer talking about actual physical appearances for characters. But that's really off topic. I really like this episode a lot, so let's watch this episode and see how great it really is. So the episode starts up and Squidward has just made a sculpture of himself out of wax. The last form of artistic media, he hadn't made a version of himself yet. Outside, Spongebob and Patrick were playing some random game that involves chessboards, rocks, bubbles, and losing on a Tuesday. Squidward yells out the window asking what the invertebrates are doing. An invertebrate means they don't have a backbone. While sea sponges and starfish are invertebrates, an octopus is also an invertebrate. I don't know if Squidward was insulting Spongebob and Patrick by calling them invertebrates, but Squidward himself is also an invertebrate. Squidward tells them to play another game and goes to take a bubble bath. Spongebob and Patrick decide to toss a shell back and forth, but the shell goes inside Squidward's window and it hits the wax sculpture. Squidward hears this, but just shrugs it off. Spongebob and Patrick go inside Squidward's house and find the shell, but they think something happened to Squidward. They try to help him out, but no matter what they try, they don't realize that it was just Squidward's wax sculpture. They put the sculpture in the sunlight, which causes it to melt, and they start to freak out. Meanwhile, Squidward got out of the bathtub and starts powdering his face. How does Squidward not hear Spongebob and Patrick talking and screaming, but he does hear his wax sculpture hit the floor? Spongebob and Patrick tried to fix what they thought was Squidward, but it didn't work, and when the eyes turned over, they started to think he was dead. Just then, the real Squidward came out of the bathroom covered in powder, wearing a white bathrobe. Squidward was mad to see Spongebob and Patrick in his house, but Spongebob and Patrick were scared because they thought the Squidward they saw was a ghost. When he discovered they melted his wax sculpture, Squidward realized what they were talking about and came up with an idea. Squidward played around with the idea of being a ghost and having them tend to his every whim and do everything he tells them to do. Later on, Spongebob and Patrick carried Squidward outside on a bed, taking him to a too loose Lautrec painting. They got back to the first spot and the bed fell on top of Spongebob and Patrick. Squidward told them to fetch him some fruit. Spongebob got him a grape and then a banana and Patrick dropped a watermelon on Squidward. <laughs> okay, that scene gets me every time. I love it so much. Squidward got fed up and told Spongebob and Patrick to get him something else that would be hard to find. Cherry pie. When Patrick held it up, Squidward threw it telling him to find it again. He told Spongebob to do a bunch of other random things, including playing a song with nothing but a tissue. Spongebob couldn't make a song, and Squidward told him to stay where he was until he plays a song and goes inside. If Spongebob was able to play a song with a piece of tissue paper, Squidward might not have heard him if he went back inside. Spongebob stayed out all night, and when Squidward came out the next morning, Squidward told Spongebob to clean out his back room as punishment for not making music. Patrick came back and Squidward threw the pie in his face. Later on, Spongebob and Patrick went to clean out the back room. When they entered the room, Spongebob tore off the wallpaper to clean the room. I love tearing things off walls. Spongebob and Patrick find a comic book explaining the origin of the Flying Dutchman. His body was used as a window display after he died, so now he haunts the Seven Seas because he was never put to rest. So Spongebob and Patrick thought they had to put Squidward to rest. They shot spitballs at Squidward, saying that was the initiation for the ceremony of being put to rest. Squidward objected this and went to the back room and was shocked when he saw... Okay, get in. Wow. I think that's one of, if not the most, darkest Spongebob memes ever. Squidward tells Spongebob and Patrick to leave, 
and then they dig a hole, engrave a tombstone, and all the mourners arrive. After all of this, Squidward admits that he wasn't a ghost and tells Spongebob to tell everybody to go home and tell him to leave him alone. Spongebob thought that Squidward was in denial about his death, and Patrick gave Spongebob an idea of getting Squidward up to the great beyond. Later on, when Squidward was resting, Spongebob blew a bubble that encased Squidward and took him up to the surface. Spongebob and Patrick waved goodbye to Squidward, and Squidward yelled incoherently muffled through the bubble. Squidward left the ocean, and Spongebob and Patrick saw he was on the other side in a better place. Squidward was shown in the sky, uncomfortably surrounded by seagulls, and the episode ends. Yes, Squidward is on the other side because he's out of the water, but how can Spongebob tell where Squidward is without binoculars like Patrick has? I can't see that high in the sky without binoculars. So that was Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, and I think that this is a really good episode. I liked a lot of the jokes here. The game that Spongebob and Patrick played at the beginning was pretty funny just because of how random and all over the place it was, especially with Patrick not happy about not losing since it wasn't a Tuesday. I like the part where Spongebob and Patrick take Squidward to the painting and Squidward makes that Tolo Slatrak quip. Fun fact, this painting is a reference to the real life painting La Troupe de Mademoiselle Eglantine by Henry de Toulouse Lautrec and Squidward saying Toulouse Lautrec is a joke based on the last name of the artist, Henry Day Toulouse Lautrec. The rim shot after that quip makes the scene even funnier in my opinion. I also love the parts where Spongebob just tears off the wallpaper in Squidward's back room and when Patrick is just repeating everything Spongebob was saying. And of course, how could I forget when Patrick lands on the wax sculpture and its face looks like this. And yes, the part where Patrick dropped the watermelon on Squidward. His face when the melon is stuffed in his mouth is funny too. I said this earlier, but this scene makes me laugh so hard every time I watch it. There are a lot of funny scenes throughout the entire series I laugh at every time I watch them, but I'd argue that this is one of the scenes I laugh so hard at every time. Basically how Patrick laughs at what's inside his secret box in episode 69, The Secret Box, kinda sorta sums me up during this scene. That's how much I love it. The watermelon scene is the best part of the episode in my opinion. As much as I love this episode, I do have to try to be critical. And my critical point is... There is something I do have to bring up that I do kind of think was a little weird. When the wax sculpture melted, I do wonder why Spongebob and Patrick thought that was a real Squidward who melted. I get that Spongebob and Patrick aren't the brightest pair of best friends ever, but have they ever seen or heard of a living sea creature actually melting before? None of my friends have ever melted before. But if I'm being honest, I feel that's more of a nitpick than anything. It does work for what it's trying to do, and Spongebob's character is naive and Patrick's is unintelligent, so it's fine. Spongebob and Patrick thinking Squidward died from just melting after being in the sun for a few seconds is just odd to say the least in my opinion. Going back to the good stuff, I also laughed when Spongebob and Patrick shot the spitballs at Squidward and when they get the coffin out of nowhere. It's also interesting to know the origin of the Flying Dutchman, who is my favorite ghost of all time. In the modern seasons, there was a term called Squidward Torture, which was used to describe episodes where Squidward got hurt a lot throughout, especially if it was for no good reasons. There were a few examples where it was done right, but it's extremely rare. Of course, there were several times where he actually did something to deserve it, and this is the epitome of an example of how to do it correctly. If I go on any further, people will get mad at me for just talking about it, so I'm going to stop talking about it right now. On the other hand, I do have one more critical point to make about it, and that is... that I think that this episode is a little better than its sister episode, episode 22, Muscle Bob Buff Pants. Now in the past, I've said that I don't like it when people say that this one episode is not too memorable because it's not as good as its sister episode. I feel like the fans are either being too critical or being just really nitpicky. But last time, I stated I think Muscle Bob Buff Pants is a great episode. Just because I think Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost is better than Muscle Bob Buff Pants doesn't make Muscle Bob Buff Pants bad or unmemorable. It's still good. It only means its sister episode is more good. As long as an episode is good in general and you like it, that's what matters. And if you don't like an episode, you don't have to watch it. It's as simple as that. The part where Patrick drops the watermelon on Squidward is what makes me say this episode is better in my opinion. But like I said, that's with a critical eye. 
I still like it, and no matter how critical I will get with any episode, I'll still love them. Please respect that. Moving on, it's time to wrap things up. This episode is a nice watch. There are a lot of good moments in this one. The plot and structure work, and it's pretty funny. It's an episode I always loved watching as a kid, and I still do to this day. Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost is a good episode. There are a decent handful of funny parts, especially the watermelon scene, which gets me every time. And in addition to that, my other biggest takeaway from this episode is how much fun it is to tear stuff off of walls. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. So satisfying.